Hi, welcome to the video tutorial on how to switch from AOBRD to ELD. As of December 16, 2019, any existing AOBRD compliance fleet operating in the United States is required to update to the electronic logging device unless a motor carrier is otherwise exempt. This also includes motor carriers domiciled in Canada that travel in the United States. As a fleet administrator, you must make the update from the Big Road web application to ensure your fleet, trucks, and drivers are ELD ready. Let's first log in to the Big Road web application. If your fleet is still using the AOBRD, starting December 16, as soon as you log in, you will see an ELD notification banner to help you with a step-by-step -step transition to ELD. If your fleet is exempt from ELD, select this doesn't apply to my fleet to dismiss this banner. However, selecting switch trucks now provides you access to a guided wizard to complete the switch. Let's now take a look at how to make the switch from AOBRD to ELD. Click the Switch Trucks Now button to access the wizard. This wizard has five sections, Introduction, ELD Readiness, ELD Settings, ELD Options, and Switch. The Introduction section only identifies and displays the configuration steps involved in the switch in this wizard. Click the Next button to proceed to the next section. The ELD readiness section is the first step in making the entire fleet ELD ready. This section illustrates the fleet trucks and drivers that have and do not have the necessary information in the application to be ELD ready. As you can see, this section has three tabs for fleet, drivers, and trucks info. Each tab has an ELD ready column. And if the fleet, each driver, and each truck has the required information to become ELD ready, the column displays a green tick. However, when the information is missing, the column displays a red circle. You can select the checkbox next to only show entries with missing data to only see missing information for fleet, trucks, and drivers. Now, starting from the Fleet Info tab, enter all the missing information and then click the Save button. If the fleet is already ELD ready and has a green tick, click the Driver's Info tab. In the Driver's Info tab, enter all the missing info, for example, the license in this case. Then click the Save button. As you can now see, the ELD ready column displays a green tick for this particular driver. Now click the Trucks Info tab and follow the same process. Enter the missing information in the missing information field. Click the Save button and then click the Next button to proceed to the next section. The ELD settings is the second step in the switch from AOBRD to the ELD process. To make your fleet operations ELD compliant, select the checkboxes next to the three mandatory options for ELD compliance, which are Enable ELD, Carrier Edit Driver Approval, Track Unidentified Driving for ELD Trucks. If these options were already selected for your fleet, the boxes will be checked by default and cannot be unchecked. The fourth option, Enable Unidentified Driving Fleet-Wide so AOBRD trucks also track unidentified driving is an optional setting that primarily applies in Canada where only trucks that go to the U.S. are required to be switched to ELD at this time. Once the mandatory options are selected, click the Next button. The third step in the process is ELD options. Here, you can choose whether you would like to enable the optional settings for personal conveyance and yard move. Select the checkboxes next to these options as necessary and then click the Next button. The switch is the final step in the process 
to switch all ELD ready trucks to ELD. Here you can switch all your ELD ready trucks at once if they are ELD ready. And all ELD trucks once again are displayed with a green tick in the ELD ready column, while trucks that are missing information to be ELD ready are displayed with a red circle and a missing info text box. The missing information field on the screen is not editable. You can click the back arrow to navigate to the ELD readiness section, enter the missing information for all your trucks, click the save button, and then once again, click the next buttons to proceed to the switch section. Once all your trucks are ELD ready, you can then click switch to ELD and on the pop-up, which is asking you, are you sure you want to switch the selected trucks to ELD? This can't be undone. Click the yes button. Once the switch is completed, a new window displays indicating the switch is complete. In this section, select click here to access all ELD related documentation on the Big Road website. For any further questions, you can always reach us at 1-800-220-0779. Thank you.